Hello and welcome back to another episode of My Time at Sandrock. Uh, we just finished the recording the last episode, or well, I did. Um, and I see that there are a whole bunch of quests that have popped up on our maps. So we're going to go check out stuff. I think it's going to have to do with relating to having unmasked the kid. People might want to talk about him. We'll see. You thinking what I'm thinking? Uh-oh, what are you thinking, Justice? I'm pretty sure I'm not. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I reckon Logan will come for this kid, if I read him right. Mm. That's a superb deduction, sir. I know, right? We better be on our guard. He might come at any time. That's a good point, Justice. Something to think about. Got it. And I know I really should go rent a horse. Give it back now, you thieving pipsqueak! Nuh-uh. No takesies backsies. <laughs> takesies backsies is not legal terminology. You signed a contract. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I don't think kids are allowed to sign contracts anyway, yeah, and at least not without a parent or guardian around. What's a contract? Exactly. Oh, why you little... Commissioner, what mm. all this commotion? It's Vivi. Why are you harassing this innocent child here? It's president, ma'am. And this innocent child is in fact a devious criminal. Have you forgotten? He bamboozled our whole town and made a tomfoolery of our rule of law. More importantly, he commissioned a very expensive shield from me that he has yet to pay for. You promised me vast riches, boy. I demand my vast riches. You fell for it because you're dumb. <laughs> I skimmed you fair and square. Shield's mine now. <laughs> oh no, I can't laugh or I'll start coughing. I'm still, I'm recording this on the same day as the last episode. My voice is a little sore, a little hoarse, and I've got cough drops going, so I'm not coughing, so apologies for that. But oh my gosh, Andy, stop making me laugh. Such dishonesty. <laughs> oh, how I loathe such behavior. Indeed, there's nothing worse than one who tells lies. Oh, stuff it. Yes, yeah, stuff it. Yes, he was in the wrong, but he's just a kid. And he was all alone out in the desert. We need to give him a good sand rock welcome. Let him have his toy. Yeah, welcome me, sloppy mustache. <laughs> uh, I'm tempted to go with I'll let you guys settle this, see ya. But you know what? I can't stand Yan, and Andy gave me a good laugh. So let's just say, let him have the shield, Yan. Easy for you to say, builder. Oh, we lost five. You, I take pride in my work. Allowing such larky caperings diminishes the prestige of my office. <laughs> if you want to give out shields left and right over at a uh, Dinkerton or whatever you Excuse call yourself, it's you. all well and good. But here at the producer, we believe in a little thing I like to call integrity. Now give me the money, kid. Give me it now. Now, now, now. Listen here, Commissioner. You leave this boy alone. Hear me? You send me the bill for his toy. You really ought to be ashamed of yourself. Funnily enough, I'm not. I feel <laughs> great. Ah, Bill, it's like music to my ears. He's horrible. Well, you yokels can redefine morality all you like, so long as I get that check in the mail. Just don't come crawling back to me when this boy reverts to a life of crime. Or worse, becomes a crusty juggler. Not a juggler. <laughs> wow. Thanks for helping me. Can I call you Grandma? Sure, sugar. Everyone does. Sweet Grandma Vivi. But Andy, you need to learn some responsibility. You hear? I think I got a few chores you can start handling for a little pocket money. That way you can start earning the things you want, the right way. How does that sound? Grandma, you're so nice to me. Uh-huh. I'm gonna try real hard to do housework and pay you back and... And... Uh, why are grandmas always so nice to me? <laughs> My grandma, she... She... What's wrong? You miss your grandma. That's all right, sugar. You let it out. Grandma's right here. Grandmas are the best. I'm tough. 
I'm not crying, promise. Even the toughest people cry sometimes, Andy. Say, why don't you come over to our place right now? I'll make cookies for you and Jay. Whoa. You're the coolest person in this town by far. Oh, I think you'll find plenty of us are pretty cool here. That was cute. Oh, hi, Deputy Captain. I don't have anything for you. Meow, meow. Who's the goodest little Deputy Captain? I think we might have a fireside tonight. I just kind of want to go... Um... Sort of advance these quests, these stories. Looks like there's a chest over there I've missed. Some of the chest symbols that pop up on the map, I don't always see the chests. Sheriff! When Andy was disguised, the cookie jar from our house disappeared. There were a lot of cookies inside. Is there any chance that you and the Civil Corps will be able to recover our lost valuables? Um, listen, Jasmine. In 80% of all cookie thefts, <laughs> The confectionaries are consumed within the first 12 hours. That number rises to 99% after 24. And based on the criminal profile... Guy eat your cookies. Yeah, guy eat your cookies, right? I was going to say, I'll try to hunt down your cookie jar, but you ain't getting cookies back. I will eat all the cookies. Oh, that dirty, rotten, no good thief. I hate bandits. <laughs> I wish they'd gotten a different voice actor for Jasmine. Could you two learn a little bedside manner? She's just a girl. Yeah. Jeez. Let's just make her some new cookies. Sometimes the truth hurts. Wow. That's harsh, though, Justice. Mm, could offer to make her some some cookies. So are we supposed to go in here? If you don't tell us where Logan is, I'm going to be really angry. Oh, no. Not an angry unsure. You better do what he says. He's crazy. <laughs> Man, before Forehead over there was the good cop and Dreadlocks was the bad cop, now you're the good cop? At least get your interrogation technique straight, sheesh. Bunch of amateurs. That's hilarious. Dang it, this is going nowhere. Uh, look, kid, just tell us what Logan is. Lives are at stake here. You better do what he says. He's crazy. Ah, uh, good grief. <laughs> now you're both good cops. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. Nobody's ever said that about us before. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just so silly. Whose side are you on, man? <laughs> oh, uh, hey. Sorry you had to see all that. I'm kind of sorry I had to see all that, too. Can I go now? Yeah, this is going nowhere. Unless you want to try asking a few questions. Can we just adopt Andy and take him in and let him come live with us? Out of the way, I'll crack him like an egg. Uh, I'm good, see ya. Nah, just let me talk to him. Sure, take a swing. I'm not gonna swing at a kid. <laughs> Please, Andy, you need to help us. This is better start singing, Stool Pinget. We'll, we'll start out nice. Oh yeah? Why come? I think Logan is a danger to himself. Shoot, you know, Haru's always saying the same thing. But that's what I like about Logan. He doesn't think, he just does stuff. That's living the dream. All right. So what if I do help y'all? What's in it for me, huh? Um, all the candy you can eat. He, we know he loves candy. I don't think the feeling... Well, after talking to Vivi, the feeling of doing the right thing might help him. Going to jail, I don't think he thinks he's going to get... Lot. We'll, we'll try the candy. All the candy I can eat, eh? Hmm. hmm. <laughs> all right, fine. Tell you what I know. I'm getting bored of this anyway. Truth is, truth is, truth is, I don't know nothing. I knew he wouldn't know. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Logan made sure I never knew nothing about what he was doing, where we were going. Nothing. Heck, I don't even know what he's got against y'all. But he took care of me and mine when I was lost out in this desert. That makes him all right in my book. He made sure if I ever ended up here, I wouldn't know anything that could put him in his outfit in danger. Mm -hmm. So there. Looks like he outsmarted you lot. I predicted how dumb I is. I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, I don't know nothing. Couldn't help you even if I wanted to. 
So let me go already. Why'd you pretend to be the bounty hunter? I heard Haru and Logan talk about how Penn's a tough opponent, and they were waving around a picture of some red-haired fella saying he was coming to town soon, so... I came up with a plan. Make a disguise, get a super shield, block space punch, obviously. So yeah, like I said, I don't know nothing. Couldn't help you even if I wanted to. So let me go already! I guess it's true. As someone who also knows nothing, <laughs> I feel he's telling the truth. <laughs> I almost want to woo, unsure, and marry him just because of how kind of just, yeah, <laughs> just how he is. <laughs> Still a bit fishy from where I'm standing. Howdy, boys. Ah, you're here too. If I'd known, I'd have brought you something. Thanks, Grace. Thanks, Grace. Just put the food on the table if you would. Kind of busy. Doing a little, uh, interrogation here? Uh, yeah. How'd you guess? <laughs> we really ought to get back to it, though. Can't tell if this kid is telling the truth or not. He is. Hey, what are you... Ah! No, Mommy! <gasps> ah! Get her away from me! I'll do anything you say. I told you everything already. I told you... Everything. <laughs> He's telling the truth. Uh, what did she say to him? Uh, all right, Andy. You're off the hook for now. You just stay out of trouble. All right? Everyone else, dismissed. I need to go for a walk or something. Hmm. What did she whisper in his ear? Check out this one up here. Nemo. Hey, which way? Uh, looks like it's up by the temple, not down lower. school. I heard it was a rotten time where you just sit listening to boring church stories. Worse, the even boring or kid versions where there's no blood or guts. Hmm, yeah, it's kind of like that. But you can just think of other stuff while they're talking. The church people are funny. Burgess is cute. He's afraid of everything. <laughs> Last week, the cat knocked over a bottle, and we spent the whole day checking the church for ghosts. That is funny. <laughs> Penn thinks he's the prettiest man in the world. We can just take him to a room with a mirror. He'll stay there all day, and then we can go play. <laughs> cool. Hey, so, uh, you always gonna be at Sunday school? Yep. Well, uh, maybe I can stick around this town for a while. Hey, tell Andy how fun Sunday school is gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna tell him they're gonna have fun. Jasmine's not gonna get him into too much mischief. Yeah. Rock better than being a bandit. Uh, well, I don't know about that. How am I supposed to live my life without doing crimes? I think you'll find it surprisingly easy. Yeah, Andy, I've lived my life without committing any crimes. It's not that difficult. Just, you know. Yep. Fireside meeting. You just kind of just go around your daily routine and just don't do anything illegal. Who's the goodest doggo? Oh, I want to make you some dog food. Okay, we just got an achievement unlocked chatterbox. That's a little pop-up from my Steam that you guys can't see, because I only do my game capture, not my display capture. We'll just get ready for the meeting. We're all here. I'll have a little sip of my tea while we wait. I talk to people, but that'll just slow down the time. Oh yeah, I was gonna maybe go do some inspections. Oh well, maybe on tomorrow. I'm really enjoying getting back into Sandrock. It's fun seeing the Andy storyline. It's giving me some good chuckles. It's reminding me there are a lot of villagers in town I haven't been talking to and I need to stop neglecting. 
Howdy, y'all. <clears throat> Following the involuntary minister misplacement incident, the minister raised concerns. Concerns about certain water-related allegations laid out by Logan, and, well, we're here to put any doubts to rest. Our latest investigation was spearheaded jointly by Minister Matilda and Mayor Trudy, and carried out by myself and unsure of the Civil Corps. Without further ado, allow me to release our reports to the public. Firstly, unsure and I made a full check of the perimeter, a thorough search of the area around Sand Rock, leaving no stone unturned. I made double sure of that. <laughs> right. Anyway, beyond a certain distance, it just doesn't make much sense to continue looking around outdoors. Transporting the water in and out of town, well, we'd have caught that on stand-up patrols by now. From there, we moved on to investigating individuals. After a series of interviews and cross-checking data, we have once again confirmed that civilian consumption of water is indeed very close in line with numbers reported by Burgess at the water tower, consisting at 20 tons per month. So, that's kind of all she wrote. On a positive note, we also found that, for the most part, everyone was being really careful with water consumption. So, uh, hope y'all can take a bit of solidarity in knowing that we're all out here doing our best for Sand Rock. Look at you all, conservers conserving <laughs> it up. Oh God, Burgess. With that, we're gonna turn things over to Pastor Miguel, who also mm -hmm. wanted to say a few words. Pastor, tell us what you know. With pleasure. The first thing I wish to assert is transparency. I'm making all import and export records publicly available. If you want to check said records, you'll find that 80% of all water is imported and 20% comes from the Oasis so as not to put a strain on it. And now for the specifics. Sandrock imports 16 tons of water every month from two sources. Highwind via the East Rail and Portia through Atara. Another four tons comes from the Oasis. Justice himself has checked the levels every step of the way. Can you confirm that, please, Sheriff? Yep, sounds about right. We looked into every in and out of the process at random times throughout the last few weeks, and it all checked out. Good. And to be frank, my past performance speaks for itself. There has not been a single accounting error in Sandrock history since my arrival here. To even suggest that suddenly I've lost my touch is an insult. Good day. Give it up for Pastor Miguel, everyone. He always knows how to brighten our day. <laughs> Am I right? Uh huh. All right. Well, with that, I think we can about call this little conference to an end. In conclusion, so called claims of someone hiding water is verifiably false. If you still have questions, take it up with me personally. Mayor, Minister, any closing thoughts? It is a very compelling report. Well, if that's the way it is, that's the way it is. All we can do is trust each other, because each other is all we have. Let's continue to do our best in fighting for Sandrock, together. And I think it goes without saying... Conserve water. Hmm. <laughs> all right. Well, heck, now I don't know what we should be doing. We have to wait on those other two quests. Um... Let's go see... About making some dog food. We can try giving it to Banjo next time we see him. I don't have anything for Coco. Shoot. Should probably just go to bed. Let's just go to bed, actually. Get ready, ready to start a new day, see if anybody shows up with anything for us. Otherwise, we'll do some commissions. I really need to start making some money. Again, I almost said Dinks. Oh no, Dinkum is always on the brain. <sighs> My other games just don't stand a chance. Okay, we've got an update. Install the game machine and sign. This one we're still... Okay, I think now we can install those as well. Awesome. So we can advance that. <clears throat> Maybe our next episode will be a little bit more... Um, 
mission heavy. Hi, Tender. Hello, Nugget. Yeah, I'd really love to expand and start making a really cute house or looking at some of the um, blueprints because I, I know there are some default houses and stuff if you don't want to design your own from scratch. That's pretty cool. Hey, from Justice. Hey, there was a reward to anyone who helped safely catch that bandit kid. You were no doubt number one in making that happen. Well, I don't know. I think it was... You chucking de deputy captain at him that did it. Uh, so we're giving the whole pot to you. Good on you, Moxie. Couldn't have done it without you. P.S. We'll try to be a little bit more observant in the future. Your friend. Justice. So far, you're in 88 goals and 20 of the ruins tokens. Nice. Let's put everything away. Should probably turn over my re my scrap machines. They were getting a little bit backlogged. That'll get us caught up on our copper scrap. Let's see, still have quite a bit of mechanical scrap. So we'll get that finished up. And, oh, these are still finishing up. We'll let them, let them finish doing their thing. Sorry, this was just used for fertilizer, Banjo, but we're going to make some dog food. I can't give it to him three days in a row, but we'll have some for him. All right, so where are we supposed to go? I should probably just go rent another horsey too, but if it's not, yeah, it's just up here. So let's just go up near the game center and the museum. We could take a yak mill. Oh, there's another quest too. What is it? Construction Junction. Shoot, let's go over to Construction Junction first. I haven't rented a horse just because I really am starting to be con conscious of how much money we need to expand and I need to be a little more careful in my spending. It really doesn't take that long. Oh, Macchiato, I forgot about you. Hi, sweet baby kitty. You look so sad just laying there. What? <clears throat> oh. Do you have any idea how fast you were going there, little lady? It's the real Bronco the Kid. World. I was going a million leagues per hour! <laughs> oh, you know, uh, when I said you have the right to remain silent, uh, that wasn't just empty chatter. I, I, I've heard enough. You're coming with me, little Hey, nuh-uh. There's laws against running too fast? But how am I supposed to deliver everyone's letters before they wake up? Wait, no, I'm sorry. I'll slow down. Uh-uh, leave her alone. Oh, there, partner. Uh, you are uh, trying to interfere with the law of the land? Is that a concealed pick hammer? Hands where I can see him. Nice and slow. Who the heck are All you? All you need to understand, buckaroo, is that I am authorized by the Sandrock government and the Alliance Council to take you in if need be. So, I suggest you drop the attitude and start answering my questions. We're going to be sassy. Make me. Why, you... are you resisting arrest? Just try me, small fry. That's it. You're going Oh, I'm going to get my punk. butt kicked, huh? Oh, no, I'm going to get my butt kicked. Um... I think I might go with the daggers. Yeah, let's go with the big sword. I want to see how... Oh, I haven't really used this shield. Um, let's go with daggers. I, I was afraid this was going to lead to it, but figured why not. Hope he's not a real high level. He's 34. Yeah. 
Yeah, we got- I think we got this? <laughs> that was weird. Alright, we won. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I forgot I can, uh, what was that middle button do? Citizen here, you're pretty tough, but that was only 10% of my power. Oh, my back. I need you to tell me right now what your relationship with Anne D, former member of the Logan gang, is. Otherwise, I can't be held responsible for what happens to you next. I'll tell him. Mm, that's right. If I'm not mistaken, you are the builder who captured that Andy. <laughs> All a bit convenient, wouldn't you say? Oh, lordy. Uh, now then, what's your relationship with the infamous Logan gang member, Andy? Hmm? My sources tell me that you were seen fraternizing with him shortly before and after he was apprehended. Uh, care to share your alibi? Okay. Wow. Absolutely airtight. <laughs> Glad we have an airtight dates, alibi. Times, and a list of witnesses who could vouch for you. In fact, it seems you've been decisively crucial to every successful law enforcement campaign to take place in this city. Since you're... Well, that pretty well clears you of all suspicion. Thank you. Room. Yep. You'd have to be crazy to suspect someone like yourself at this point. Pretty much. But... Sometimes <laughs> the least suspicious suspect is actually the most suspicious. And frankly, all of the citizens of Sandrock are suspects. Oh my goodness. I'll have my eye on you, buckaroo. On your way. See ya. Alright, now we can go on over. Oh, I have some knowledge points to spend. Um, oh gosh. Improve machine production speed? Probably? I hardly ever increase my backpack space. Ooh, maximum floors available and house construction increased, though? Yeah. Let's start working towards that. I feel like that's kind of new. I hope we get enough points to do that. I hadn't noticed that before. Um, combat. Ooh. Da yeah, I need to start working on my dagger combat. Learn a four hit combo with the daggers. Nice. Yeah, I'm enjoying the speed of them, so let's keep working on those a bit. Okay. Oh my gosh, Duchess is snoring behind me, and it sounds so sweet. My baby girl. Oh, a couple other quests. No, these are the quests we're turning in. I do see some other quests, though, to go do on our map. All kinds of things are popping up now. Okay, that's updated that one. Oh, Dutchie, she's having a little dream, you guys. You might hear it. Let's check this out. Oh, yes, install the Punchatron. We need to do that. And the stance. Oh, my gosh, Dutchie. Do they, where do they get installed? Inside, maybe? Yeah, cool. Nice. I kind of want to play it. The boxing mini game tests your strength and precision. If using a keyboard and mouse, use the left mouse button to prepare your punch. Drag your mouse to the right position to build up your strength and release to deliver a blow. All right. Oh, okay. Let's do this again. 
Hey, hey, hey. Oh, all right. I kind of get it. I don't know. I don't know that I fully get it. Because once I hit my left mouse button, I can't, like, drag. I just, I don't know. I wasn't understanding. We'll get it with practice. The music was bugging me today. My head's all fuzzy. All right. Now we have more museum stands, so that's nice. Come on. Oh, yeah. This is quite a bit bigger, isn't it? We haven't been in here in a while. Oh, I'm so glad we'll be able to exhibit more stuff. I don't know that we have things yet, but I also haven't been really working on gathering and assembling things. So this is a large storage. What's up here? This is... I don't remember there being the upstairs before. Small exhibit. Well, I'm not giving you that stuff. Okay. Oh, so many stands and things now. Hooray. Ooh. Can you even go out here? Oh, wait. That just takes us back outside. <laughs> okay. Can we go in these side rooms? Oh, is this the new... I don't know what this is. Is this her office? Ooh, what goes here? Medium exhibit. Okay, I love the little flower boxes, like in little old tool boxes. Like a little library or something. Small books. Or at least a little reading area. Oh, pretty. Oh, this is so good. So much more room now. We'll have to start working on this. Do I have anything I can restore? Does it tell you what size that is once you've made it? Okay, we've got a couple extra spacesuits and stuff. Oi, yeah, that's a good size. I don't know if I want that down here. Can I put, what size can I put? Oh, look at these little like glass cases and such. What size, that's medium. So like that sand eagle might look good on one of these if it holds a large item. But it's medium. Okay, that's all right. Can I rotate it? No. But very cool. Oi, I'm trying to get, I wanted to get a little screenshot. Oh, no. We have to go talk to Katori, too. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. I look like I have circles under my eyes, but I don't. I'm, I'm well rested. Can we jump? Yay. Hey, Katori. This is amazing. They're amazing. You're really efficient, you know that? Thank you. Thanks for all your hard work, partner. Now it's my turn to get the tourists to come. Watch me. Nice. You get him, Katori. <laughs> That's so great. We still have the same movie, I think, playing. But it looks so much better. Oops, I wanted to grab another screenshot. See what I'll use for our thumbnail. So nice. Thank you, Katori. <coughs> So, we have no quests right now. There is one over at the salvage. 
Let's go over there. Oh, look, there's a telephone booth. I remember in Porsche, you get a little message if you used it. Oh, we can't use it. I was hoping you'd have like a little Easter egg or something. We have more decorations out front. This looks really cute. Oh wait, there's quests in town too. Let's go talk to the people. Blue moon for one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hand over the omelets, nice and slow. Don't make any sudden movements. Mm -hmm. You're saying my omelets ought to be classified as weaponry? Dang, that's a hot take. I've heard the tales. Um, well, here you go. Mm. Good, good. You know how to play ball with the law. I'm starting to like you, fried cook. Hmm, hot sauce? Made fresh just this morning. Uh. I don't handle spicy foods very well. I'm more of a mayonnaise guy. Although occasionally I do dabble in the mustard. Ooh, fancy. <gasps> oh, I really thought a heroic bandit nabber such as yourself would be able to handle a little bit of chili paste on their omelet. That's kind of disappointing. But, well, it's true. I'm new in town. Perhaps a spectacle of strength would inspire some confidence in you ordinary citizens. Yeah, I've already seen your strength, dude. Lovely. Here you are. Ah. Ugh. Er, by the light, this is terrible. It's just so incredibly bad. Wow, he's rude. And my mouth is on fire. Uh -huh. Oops, guess I'm just a silly ordinary citizen who can't cook. Teehee, enjoy your omelet. Oh, Grace, I love you. Hmm. It's the worst thing I've ever eaten in my life. The spices are quite bad. But the omelet itself is even worse. Oh, no. That's horrible. Okay, let's go see who else he's annoying. Uh, right around here. Hi, Rocky. <laughs> you don't have to answer that, Riri. <laughs> we're not citizens of your alliance. We're citizens of the world. Now, hold on, babe. I think it's best that we just answer the officer's questions. What have we done that's illegal? We are simply traveling, sir. We do not consent to your laws. Wow. You two are really starting to grind my gears, especially you, Four Eyes. Wow, he's rude. Hmm? How could you say something poignantly hurtful, yet so true? Are we being detained? If we're not being detained, then we're free to leave. Ah. You're not being detained, however, by the authority vested in me through Sandrock City Hall. I am permitted to temporary... Oh, I am permitted a temporary detention of all citizens and travelers for questioning as I see fit. I'm not the one dragging things out here. You are. Hmm. Don't tell him nothing, Riri. Snitches get stitches. Danby, I didn't know you had this side to you. We don't have anything to snitch about. I mean, sometimes you just make things worse by... Avoiding the issue, just answer a few questions and go about your day. That's funny. I wouldn't have thought that of Danby. Guess I haven't gotten to know her very well yet. Let's get a little of the discounted water. So you've spoken with the pets as I asked, yes? Uh, yeah, about that. Well, me and Unsure, we're talking in a... Well, we started maybe thinking that this particular course of action... We thought it was dumb. <laughs> mm -hmm. We thought it was dumb, sir. Dumb? You think I would just hand down top secret orders without verifying the integrity of your mission? Er, well, you don't gotta take it so bad, sir. I mean, everybody has bad ideas sometimes. Hmm. More bad than good here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, well hey, sometimes you gotta get through all the bad ideas before you get to the good ones, you know what I mean? Yeah, maybe you're right. Thanks, Sheriff. I feel better. Uh... Hey, listen, you two. You wanna catch this crook or not? 
Sure we do, it's just... Then you better start doing things my way. The Bronco the Kid way. Well, I guess we can give it one more try. Mm -hmm. I'll go find more shiny stuff to give the bird. That's more like it. Okay. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, don't land. Okay, I was afraid for a second I was going to jump into the water. Don't want to do that. We'll have Burgess on our case. Bumble ants are so cute. Let's see what's going on over here. Perhaps it's you. You're the spy. You communicate with Logan by smacking certain rocks in a certain order. It's one ding for yes and two dings for no. Say it ain't the truth. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, pal. These weird accusations are confusing me. And when I get confused, I start to get angry. Uh-oh, let's not get Rocky angry. Uh-huh, and I suppose you're one of those you wouldn't like me when I'm angry types, huh? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'll come back at a better time then. That's funny. What else? Any more to go inspect? Anything in our missions? No, we're at a good stopping point here. I think we just have to sleep a day or so for anything else to come up. And you know, we've hit that 40 minute mark. So I think this is a good place to wrap up this episode. I'll probably just kind of turn over my machines, do a little crafting of stuff after I'm done recording this. And we'll just see you on the next episode, you guys. Take care. Thanks so very much for watching.